Hey, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, we have another installment of the fan favorite YouTube series, Weird Stuff Wednesdays. Today we'll be reviewing the Araby Arrow Ultra Straight Approach and Putt Disc. This has one of the most bizarre profiles I've ever seen, especially from the side. Very, very bizarre looking, board flat on the bottom, just sort of a weird, tall, concave ridge on the edge, and then a massive, very aggressive thumb track on top. Now, I was going through all of the uh, forums and reviews from 2003, 2004, when this disc was originally approved for professional play. And there was a lot of people saying that this is the straightest disc they've ever thrown. I actually haven't thrown it yet. So we'll first give it a toss and then we'll move a little bit further into the details of this disc and the rest of the video. But before I throw the disc, please subscribe, please hit the like button and enjoy. Oh, all right. So upon lining up that shot, when you're holding it in the hand, the thumb track feels very comfortable, but, but then when it comes time to actually throw it, for me at least, it felt absolutely awful in the hand, super kind of clunky and not very well ergonomically designed to kind of come out of your hand clean. Doesn't really feel super great after the first throw. Also didn't have a lot of glide which can be a great thing, especially for an approach disc. Um, let's grab it. We'll throw it a bunch more times so you guys can really get an idea of how it flies. I'll try and get the nose down and get it a little bit flatter. Trust it to try and just throw like some nice low laser beam type shots. All right, let's play this one down a little flatter here. There we go. I love the, how fast it slows down. It really wants to go and then lose speed and drop. Very useful when approaching the basket. I would say the disc that has the most similar flight characteristics so far would be the Castaplast Berg. The Berg for me doesn't fly super overstable. For me, it's just laser beam straight. And then once it starts to lose speed, it just sort of falls down like that. And I would say this Araby Arrow has a just more extreme version of that flight. So if you feel like the Castaplast Berg might be a little bit too glidey for you, the Araby Arrow might be a really great option for when you feel like your Berg might be a little too glidey. And I know that might sound crazy, like who would need a less glidey disc than a Berg? People who throw Bergs know that they're not a brick and they're not zero glide. They probably have a two or a three glide in my opinion. This thing is a zero or a one glide. This is what a zero glide looks like. All right, we're going to throw it even harder here, a little bit more nose down, and really just start trying to lay into this sucker. So it stayed turned over, started to fade out at the end. Uh, definitely interested to put it on like a big Anheuser line and see if it kind of hangs on to the Anheuser. It definitely isn't going to burn over into a roller. If anything, it'll pan out and fade out at the end. So let's go get into a spot where we can try a big Anheuser shot. So right alongside Quest AT, Araby, or Aerobi, we're making some of the more unique discs. Their most popular mold being the Epic, the famous disc that turns and tumbles through the air when thrown on overhead shots. This disc wasn't quite as famous as that one, but I definitely still think it's pretty bizarre and unique compared to its modern disc golf counterparts. So my first impression is that there's definitely going to be a use case for this. Someone could actually put this in their bag. And the reason being, this thing has no glide, super torque resistant. Seems it's a little bit of a learning curve because it feels very uncomfortable at first. But now that I've thrown a few times, I can pretty much know that I can trust it and just lean on it with a nice firm throw. Um, the use case for this disc would be, you know, something like an A2 approach disc. It's so overstable and it's going to fade and skip. And then if you want to move to something like a Luna or an AVR or that kind of putter to approach with, those ones will kind of over glide and get away from you. This Araby Arrow has that putter-like straight flight, but then has that utility disc drop at the end. But it's not a fading drop, it's just a straight down drop, which is such a cool flight and very unique from anything I've ever thrown. You guys already know it wouldn't be Iceberg TV if I didn't try to forehanded at least once. 
Um, the one downside definitely would be on the forehand. It's one of those discs that's so shallow. My finger, when I use the grip that I like, which kind of is like this, uh, my finger doesn't fully fit inside the rim here. So it's a little too shallow for me for the flick feel-wise where my full finger kind of fits underneath the berg in there. For backhands, that's fine. It feels actually pretty solid backhand. But for the forehand, it's a little bit too shallow for me. We'll give it a try anyway. Yeah. So definitely held the turn on that flick as well. I really like the way it just drops at the end. Super useful flight. We've got some other really exciting discs coming up for Weird Stuff Wednesdays. Uh, we had a fan of the channel send me the Hammerhead Shark, the Innova disc. I was talking about the Circle Hammerhead stamp. So I'm really excited to try out that. Um, they saw the Gopher video and I mentioned that disc. Someone actually reached out and is sending us one over. So I'm so pumped to do that in the next couple of weeks. And then I also got my hands on some other Quest AT discs, which I'm super thrilled and stoked to review. Uh, there's just so fun to throw these weird and bizarre discs. You get to sort of learn about disc golf history along the way, learn about new discs. And this is actually a disc that could make my bag on a day where I need to have my backhand approaches locked in. I want to throw something nice and hard that's not going to be over glidey and go too far. That is like the perfect disc. But anyway, if you want to check out the reviews to some of those other discs that are coming up in the next couple of weeks, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, those will be coming out in the next week or two. All right, let's see if we can land the Araby arrow on that golf green. It's a pretty small golf green. So if I can land this arrow there, then I would say this video is a win and the disc might even go in the bag. And then look at that signature drop. Just <whistles> think it's on the golf green. All right, let's go. So I'd say that's a win. If we had the basket there, I'd be like, I don't know, 10 feet out, 15 feet out. But Araby Era flying really great. This, <laughs> this might actually go in the bag. Super useful disc. I love how it just <whistles> drops at the end of the flight. No fade, not much turn, just a dropping flight. All right, we'll give her one last throw and then we'll wrap up the video. Try and throw it in here. It has a chance. Oh, <laughs> it's very close. Very good try. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for today's episode of Weird Stuff Wednesdays. If you want to check out future episodes of Weird Stuff Wednesdays, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below and let me know about any weird discs you guys think I should try. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You're watching Iceberg TV and take care.